Hey everybody, what's up? It's Major Backhand here once again, and we are doing yet more Minecraft! And today, I will be doing the Diamond Mine. It's not hard really at all to do it. It's actually probably one of the easiest things to do. But, well, it seems I am down a pickaxe, so I need to make one real quick. I need my iron for that. Um, actually, with all the mining I'll be doing, I'll probably make a couple. Um, yeah, there we go. I know, it kind of looks like it's a little bit overzealous, but no. Trust me, I'm going to need them. Um, do 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 I believe that's about all I need. I don't actually need these signs anymore. I mean, I do, but I don't. I don't, but I do. Do, don't, do, don't, don't. Um, and I have kind of figured it out. This, well, actually, I don't really have my map on me, so I can't really show you. I discovered pretty much the entire area. And see, look at that. A shit ton of it is water. And that little red dot right there is a big old pool of lava. Now, this is pretty much where I'm going to make my home. I'm going to kind of extend it out that way into the water a little bit. But, um, yeah, I think this is pretty much going to be my final area. Like, this is where I do all my main stuff. But, as you can see, I have a crap ton of ladders, crap ton of torches, and a bunch of pickaxes. You're going to need a lot of this stuff and also food. So, whoop-bam! The diamond mine. This is, I mean, you don't really have to do this or anything. I mean, it's just like a little corridor. It's mainly protect. It's mainly to protect me from creepers and all that good crap. But what you want to do is you want to do this. You want to put the ladders on that side. Unless you put the trap door on that side. Because if you have the ladders on that side and the trap door is right there. No matter what, you can't have a ladder on the top. But if you um, put the ladders over there, you cannot jump out of the hole. Don't know why you just can't. All right, but from this point on, you want to, I personally do two by twos, like I'll, until I, well, I mean, I, oh, hey, look at that, some iron, but I'll get to a point like this, and I'll just like switch on, swap on and off, going down two by two, and the reason you want to do that simply is because if you're just going straight down, which I've seen people do it, I've done it myself. Going straight down is a very bad idea because mo more than likely, you will run directly into lava. And like I said, I've seen it done. I have done it. So this is a lot safer. And I mean, it kind of opens it up a little bit for your torches. I mean, obviously, you could just put one little hole in the wall like right here or something. But it's just a lot simpler doing it this way and a lot safer more safer than anything or you can you can do like little two buys and go down to but the reason you don't really want to do that is because for all you know that like you could drop down to that two by like hold on let me get this and i'll uh show you but you could do one two drop down here and for all you know there could be lava like behind this wall oh i forgot to place some ladders hey ah oh. and that's why you don't want to do that Eh. Eh. Hold on, let me place this ladder and I'll finish explaining what I was trying to say. But the reason you don't really want to do two by is cause yeah, you can look over there and be like, oh there's no lava over there. For all you know there's lava right behind this wall. And if you break this, boom, you got lava and you gotta come up here, jump up here, and you're dying. You're on fire and you just filled the rest of your thing with lava. Bad idea. So I'm just gonna stick with going one by one. And, um, that, yeah, don't ever do that either. Don't hit the one that's right under you because you could drop directly in the lava. All this stuff is because of freaking lava. But, oh, I don't really want to place my torch over there, so I'll just go ahead and... Burp, 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 burp. There we go. Yeah, fuck it, that'll work. But, um, yeah, now that you have the general idea of what I'm doing here, I am going to go ahead and finish making this myself. And I will be back when I hit bedrock, which, yes, you have to go all the way down to bedrock. So, I'll be back. You can actually kind of do this diamond mine a different way. And, I mean, if you want to do it this way, 
go for it. I mean, go for it, whatever. But um, if you're on the Xbox, you'd be sitting here getting on this. Click the right stick to crouch, and you can actually sit on your ladder without fear of falling. And you could just mine away. Oh, see there? That's a big-ass drop-off. And then you can just, like, place ladders as you go. If I can get it. I don't know. I can't get it, really get it. But, uh, yeah, you can do something like that, too. But, see, I don't like doing it that way. So I'm not gonna do it that way. But, uh, and if you encounter something like this, if it's deeper, if you can, like, kind of scooch out. Damn it. Like, kind of crouch, scooch out a little bit so you don't fall. Place a block right there. That way you can get down lower. Then just break these two open and see you're kind of in the same boat here, but you can drop directly on that. Yeah, it hurt a little bit, but... Okay, we're back. Alright, um, what you want to do is go ahead and just build, like, the side that you're putting your ladder on. Oh, excuse me. Um, you want to build all the way down and just go ahead and place your ladder... And like I said, if you don't really want to mess with the um, enemies in the future, you can completely block this off. Just make a um, straight down kind of like thing. And since I'm doing the 2x2, two two, I kind of need to um, move over one and then block this off. See, so yeah, and now look. Well, okay, well, I forgot this. Damn it! Bastard. There! Yeah, see, now we're completely blocked off. And then just bam, torch. Or I'm actually going to sit right down here. But, uh, yeah, see? Easy fix. So, um... Yeah, once again, I will be back. Alright, everybody, we are back. And I have hit bedrock. And if you're wondering about that thing, it's just extra bedrock. But, now that I'm here... I'm going to go here to the hair pickaxe right here. And I'm going to open this up a little bit. And I'm going to open it up, go up three. And I know most of the time you'll see people, they say, oh, I'm just go up two because that's just your size and everything. No, 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 no. You go up three because it gives you more of a wide view of what you can see and everything. And that's going to be more gravel. Oh, and by the way, if you got a crap ton of gravel, just place the torch down, bam, and boom, boom, boom. It's all destroyed now. Y'all welcome. But, um, go ahead, clear this out a little bit, and it's kind of your preference on how wide you want to do it, like, see, but I've got to be symmetrical, so, see, so you're here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, okay, I want five over here, I need to be five over here, it's because I'm weird about that, I, I like stuff being symmetrical, then I'm just going to go back about four, so that's two, and that's four. Okay, just pop up a torch right there for now. What the hell? Oh, look at that! You see that? You see that shit? Got some diamond already. What did I say? Look at that. Already got some diamond. And of course, if you find diamond, always, always, always mine out around it. Because there could be diamond like two blocks away. So I say mine roughly about uh, about three or four blocks out. See, I'm mining about three blocks out, and there's none there. But I always completely, completely uncover diamond. But um, like I was saying, see, this completely cleared out. I mean, obviously there's not gonna be any down there because see, it's all bedrock down there. So when if you're at the bottom floor, you don't need to worry about doing it like that. But I mean, see how quickly. I found diamond. I mean, yeah, it's pretty lucky it was that close, but I mean, see how quick that was? And it's because you have to go straight down to bedrock, and I'm actually going to go ahead and start setting this up. And yeah, I know I kind of shut that off, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. But, and now see how that one's kind of up? Like, if you go up four, cover the extra two, or the extra one that you went up. And like I said, I'll explain that all to you here in a minute, but okay, that's two back. And that's four back. I'm going to go ahead and just clear this out. And the only reason I'm actually clean, like making a big wide open area is because it's kind of like a base of operations. I always make two diamond pickaxes because I'll use one and I'll save another one for enchaining. 
which my sugar cane's actually getting up quite a bit, so I should be able to do some enchanting before too long, because I'm sitting at 22 experience. And that's another reason why you want to save a lot, because if you die, you lose all that experience, and yeah, how much did I get? Probably only get like one of these, and look at this, look at how much fucking diamond I'm getting, and you see that? One right there, in the ground. Bam. But, um, oh shit. Boom. All right, nice little wide open area. And now what you want to do, go ahead and come up here to this one little block you got here. And virtually do the same thing. Do a three high area, which, let's see, um, I'm only going to go over about four on this one. All right, everybody, we are back. And I've got the top set up. See, kind of like a little wide open area. Oop, did I miss some stuff? Oh, just a little bit of cobblestone. But now I brought down with me, uh, here it is, uh, two chests and a crafting bench. And I'll just set these right here by the ladder. And obviously chests for stuff like cobblestone because you're going to be getting a shit ton of cobblestone doing this and redstone and that lapis lazuli or however the holy living helsinki you say it but what we're going to do here this is the most efficient way to do it you want to go right here start one go over twice and start one the reason that you want to do that is instead of doing like one big wide open area or whatever because you got one right here so you'll be able to see this entire wall and you got one right here, you'll be able to see this entire wall down the entire way of both sides. So it would literally be a waste of time and resources to hit directly in the middle too. So I am going to go ahead and just keep going down this way and see what I can find. But let's see here, I just literally lost my train of thought once again. Oh, and uh, you want to make sure that you have plenty of torches on you or some kind of light source because, like, see, it's getting dark. And now I'm going to let it stay dark for a minute because I don't want to use up a bunch of my torches. Like, I can still somewhat see. Once it's about this dark, pop a torch down, do a quick little look back. Okay, no diamond, nothing like that. And you'll be pretty much doing it. Oh, see, got some redstone now. And this is also good for redstone farming and that lapis la but um see and this gives you a crap ton of experience too see watch my experience bar look oh and that's why you keep cobblestone on you at all times for that exact reason right there and what we're gonna do boom boom and bam boom oh okay so it's like that little they got a little river going See, I mean, that's easy way, boom. See, problem solved. But, um, that's about it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you a real quick diamond mine, and I'm going to do a little bit of mining off camera, see if I can find some more di- uh oh Whew. See if I can find some um, more diamond. And son of a bitch. Eh, there we go. But anyway, like I've been trying to say for the past 15 freaking seconds. See if I can try and find some more diamond. And I'm going to probably do a house build next time. Hopefully I'll have a bunch of diamond by then. And um, yeah. So this has been Major Backhand Gaming once again. Thank you all for watching. And if you like this video, make sure you give that like button a major backhand for me. And just like always, I will see you in the next video.